Good evening, it's back to your opener of Sals 4, and this is the Cossacks DLC review version. Your mileage may vary when this comes out, but Cossacks is due for release on 1st of December. Now, there's an achievement that's been added. You've got to uh, eradicate the, uh, the different sects of Islam and replace it all with Ibadi. I suppose casuals would go for the Oman route, but uh, it's much better to go for the Pate route. They're funny, a little OPM, they don't even have the right religion in the one province, but the true baller method will be Mazab, so I may as well go for that right here, right now. But I also kind of want to be colonial, so let's hit that random new world button. And see if we can't get something fancy out there. And maybe actually explore it this time, instead of doing what we did with uh, Ak Kayunlu. Which is drive ourselves into the Stone Age through 40 years of warfare. Good times. So Mazab is probably very tough. I'm hoping we can do it in patented one-shot method, but I get the feeling that if uh, Clemson or Tiniz instantly decide they want to have me for dinner, it's going to be game over for me. Uh, let's just go for it. I don't have to play in Iron Man mode, but we're going to anyway, because that's just how we roll. And uh, I never even thought of a name for this. Mm. Yeah, that's that's pretty creative. Jake, don't forget to military focus, says background sculpt. No, I won't. In fact, that will be the first thing I do, because God forbid we fall behind in that. So here we are, we're Mazab. Why does Mazab suck so bad? Well, out of all the North Africans, including Fajan, you have the lowest total development, it is six. You have the fewest provinces, where you've got two. Jared also have two, but look at that, they've got better development than we do right off the bat. We have the lowest uh, religious unity, because only half of our provinces are the right religion. Half are Sunni, the other half are uh, Ibadi, glorious Ibadi, we have to stick to that. Ah. <sighs> What other reasons do we suck? We don't have a coastline, despite our ideas being focused on naval, our religion being focused on naval. It's just not so hot all around for poor little Mazab. So what can we do? Well, we really can't do much, but we may as well name Togurt as our rival for life. And before we start doing things, actually, let's have more of a rundown of Mazab. So we get the Berber ideas. They've been around for a very long time. They're almost all naval focused. Galley combat ability, yearly naval tradition, trading. Uh, all around pretty bad, to be honest. At least we have increased core creation cost on us, which makes us less appealing to others. But everyone here has that, so everybody is going to be uh, a pain to swallow down. Hmm. Okay, what is going on then? What can we do? Well, we have two traders, none of them are working, so we may as well collect from Tunis and collect from the richest place we can reach, which appears to be Genoa. I think collecting there will be better than forwarding, because it's not like we have much power in the Tunis node. We have absolute minimum, <sighs> to be honest. Oh, dad, insult to injury. We have two different cultures in our province here. Thankfully, they're both the same group and accepted, but still it hurts. What also hurts is the fact that we are still a duchy, so we're going to have to upgrade just to get ourselves an extra diplomat. Uh, what else can we even do? Well, we can check how people feel about us. Everybody's feeling rather neutral. At least they don't hate our guts, but it's also important for me to check out the uh, relationships between these different fellows. So there's some mutual friendliness. Oh, well, Tunisia is actually domineering, so Tunisia is probably going to be going for a vassalization there. They tend to do that anyway, so that's okay. Uh, rivalry between these two. Mutual friendliness between Clemson and Morocco, though. And mutual rivalry between Tunis and Morocco. Long time ago I played as Granada, so I have a reasonable idea of how to approach the North Africans, as long as I know pretty well what their relationship with each other is going to be. So we know that Tunis and Tlemcen are never going to ally, 
and we know that Tunis and Morocco are never going to ally. Morocco and Tlemcen are probably going to ally each other, and with a bit of luck they will uh, try to stomp all over Tunis. That means fighting Tlemcen, unless Morocco gets dragged into something pretty bad, is not going to happen. So we should probably seek out an alliance with Morocco. We're threatened by Tunis, and Tunis is their rival. This might sound like an old blah 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 blah, but it's very important for making sure that my start actually works. Seeing the long-term relationship between the North Africans. Uh, that said though, we are just two provinces, two of the most dirt poor provinces imaginable. They even trade in wool, and they're desert so it's very expensive to uh, work on development. But we do have some advantages, other than the fact that, uh, well, I'm at the throne here. Actually, speaking of at the throne, we have uh, Iman Subpar Hassan, so we want him dead pretty quickly. That's as good a reason to make him a general, and, well, feeling a bit lucky already. They're three in shock. Uh, we don't like Togurt. We really don't like them. Thankfully, we have a mission on them, so that means we don't even have to waste any time. I need to check how they feel around with people around them. So they've thankfully, thankfully they're hostile towards Jared, and uh, don't think Tunisia is going to be doing much to them. So we may as well jump straight into war as fast as we can. Alexander saying I understood some of the words, Jake. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, as I said before, this one province that we have is the. Uh, wrong religion. I want a bigger army than they're gonna have so I may as well get to that straight away but I need to get away and grab my claim so that we can start getting ticking war score on them and I'm not that keen to fight them straight up because we could get uh, bad luck with the uh, with a roll and just our, have our army slaughtered and killed a run right from the start and who would want that? So we do have some advantages and one of them is, even though we are a baddie in the wrong area, we are a theocracy. So our tolerance towards a true faith is pretty fantastic. Also, a baddie, although it's probably one of the worst. No, it is the worst of the three. It, uh, it is still Muslim, so we get piety. Gotta get that morale up. So part of being a theocracy is you get heirs. They're all uh, strangely come from this strange bank of 35-year-olds, if memory serves. But uh, now I can choose between uh, my estates getting uh, loyalty from this. This is actually very useful since that's going to be a good, consistent way to gain loyalty. Mm hmm. Jake, can you upgrade theocracies in Cossacks? Yes, it's monastic orders that don't upgrade. Now, the emirs. I'm thinking I'm going for that, because I need that prestige early on. The money isn't much of an issue there. And the Ulema... Yeah. No, I want that... Uh, I want that prestige. Okay, not bad. Not too bad at all. You can also be Hassan. Yeah, sure. But even though you are good, I'm still going to roll you as a uh, general you might have something really good, and one siege does come under the really good category. So, we're going to keep it going. Now, what luck, they're trying to recruit a unit in the province that we have claimed, so we're just going to gun that down straight away. And what is also fortunate is that it is Highlands. So he's going to sit on our... Uh, our only fort, and we're going to be happy enough with that. <clears throat> Jake, remember to boost your stability as soon as possible for ticking devotion. I don't think that's really going to be too much of a problem. We will get devotion. Now I want to get war score from occupying his provinces on the double, and quite nicely I'll arrive in this province before the turn of the month so that I can loot it. I can probably get more from looting than I could ever make just from having the provinces. But I want to decisively destroy their army. Because uh, this is a little change that I'm not sure has really gone down, but if you annex a nation whilst they still have units that are alive, those units will turn into uh, separatists. Okay, looking not too shabby. I want to give it one more month, just so that this bad boy here gets his morale back. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we think about that just a little bit longer... That'll be good. So, you arrive there on the 2nd of April, you arrive there on the 30th of March. 
I want to give you just a couple of days so that you will arrive there on the same day. That's glorious. It might be our ruler fighting. They may die, but to be honest, if they die, that's good for us because, well, the air is a lot better. Wow. Quite a lot better. Maybe not where it counts, though. So this is kind of good because it gives us one unit that will flank, but it's not good enough for me. So I'm going to wait for the turn of the month. I always forget how many days are in each month because I am platinum stupid. So they have four, I have four plus one, so I get one flank, but that's not enough for me. So I'm going to throw one unit out there to uh, join in. So bang, I have a flank on both sides, and what luck, it's my cavalry flanking as well, so they won't take units and cost me extra money. I love the early game fights because you can optimize quite a lot, and when it comes to me, my optimizations are always based on money. So unless they get some spectacular rolls with their one shock uh, general, that's not fantastic. That is, but it's too little and it is muckle too late. Mm -hmm. looking, uh, looking not too shabby. Let's just go and kill them. And we're putting our heir in charge here. Why putting our heir in charge? Because he has the siege that we need to make sure that the uh, capital is ours. So we have a couple of free diplomats going here. I really don't want the people around me hating my guts too much. So I need Morocco to like me, and I need Tunis to like me. I need Tunis to like me so that they don't murder me. Clemson I also need to do that with, but if I get Morocco looking alright with me, then it doesn't matter too much. Hopefully these guys will infight. It's also important to see who Granada will end up allying, if anybody. Now, they're rivaled with Clemson, so there won't be an alliance there. There is neutrality going on with Morocco and neutrality with uh, Tunis, so it remains to be seen if there'll be an alliance with either Morocco and or Tunis there. Jake, if devotion turns to zero, what happens? There is an event that will uh, guide you into monarchy if you don't remain uh, devout enough. You probably don't want that. Okay, I don't like this province being Sunni, and I should probably do something about it. But what? Mm. Oh well, I'll figure that out later on. I also don't need to put any more than necessary over here, so let's get you... <laughs> you probably won't loot much because you're a pretty broken man, but... Yeah, you won't even loot your worth there. Let's get you out back home. <clears throat> Jake, get 190 relations with Tunis, they ask for vassalization. No, it has to be uh, me liking them to 190, and that is not really going to happen. They've allied themselves with Fazan, so it could be that they have a uh, bit of conflict over Mamluks, it depends who gets them. Frankly, I'm hoping the Mamluks get them, because it's more guaranteed that the Mamluks are going to get destroyed than Tunis. Still, we do what we can to keep their relations pretty good with us. It's also pretty nifty that we can use diplomatic feedback to see that whilst they wouldn't mind our provinces, they're not uh, they're not gonna go completely mad over them. That could change in time. It also tells me that if I take over these provinces, then they're going to get really angry. I might grab some claims just to uh, have that as a possibility later on. Maybe. We'll see. So I want Togurt to fall so that we can all be happy. Jake, you get loot in that glorious three development wool province. Ah, uh, funny joke. That said, I would probably want to loot this province. Loot it for all your worth. Because that's going to be worth a lot more money than I'll ever make out of it in the long run. This one I don't want to because it's already a baddie, so I may as well keep it looking halfway good. And this one's spices, which is rather nice. Jake, how do you unify Islam? There's a decision you can take if you have the Horse and Crescent DLC. And I'm not seeing it here. Uh, maybe you have to be of a certain size before it even shows up. Okay. So the disadvantage to being a theocracy is that we can't actually marry anybody. 
and that is a really good way to secure an alliance. Might as well explain to everybody that we are very friendly, except you. I don't like you. So we'll just keep it neutral. Alright, we have drained all the loot we can there. So, although it's probably not going to make our neighbours too happy, we take everything. We're also going to force religion upon them so we don't have to deal with Togurt and the accompanying religious unity. We're also going to take all their money because we don't even care about that 1.2 inflation that's going to hurt us quite a bit. Too bad. That looks good to me. Cheers, big ears. So we've got a couple of provinces we need to core. I honestly cannot deal with rebels at this point, so I may as well increase autonomy there and there. This province, on the other hand, mm, I'm torn on. I kind of want to reduce autonomy. You might wonder why. It's because it has Al Algerians there. And I could export Algerian rebels, since Algiers have cores across here. That could backfire. It certainly could backfire. Because I would end up with probably three, two or three generations of uh, rebels coming out of that province if I do so. So we'll not worry about that. Do we complete our mission? Certainly. So we get to reduce autonomy here. Even with that in mind, we're going to raise autonomy since it's another revolting province. What else can we do? Convert it to Ibadi. Absolutely, we can do that. I really want to do that so that I can get a wave of devotion that'll help me convert this other province. There is a school of thought that I could exploit rebels changing them, but I'm too small and fragile to really accept that as a, a good way to go. Alright, you definitely don't want to ally me, but I still want to improve relations so that you're less likely to want to kill me. So, we will get this one done. It'll take 256 months. I don't like that. So, we're going to hand it over to the Ulema, because they'll increase local missionary strength by 2. Hopefully that doesn't boost them up too much. So, we got the Ulema. We've given them 20%. But because we're a theocracy, they already have a lot of control, so I need to be very careful not to give them too much land. I also need to keep that loyalty nice and high so that we actually get these bonuses from them. I would love to demand some uh, support from them, but there's no guarantee that we'd keep the uh, nice bonus here if I were to do that. So we'll let sleeping dogs lie. Might as well kill the army maintenance, since if we get a revolt here then something has gone terribly wrong. Hmm, not too shabby. I think we'd have a fourth estate if we uh, controlled some heretic land, or uh, he heathenous land, rather. It's kind of funny that I could demand money from my merchants, but just like the whole country, they don't have much money. Also, the cost of prestige, I could give them influence and loyalty, but honestly, what's the point at this point in time? It's that military support I would really like, so I can boost myself up to the next, uh... Hmm, actually, there's a thought. I could give the emirs some land. I'd love to give them my capital, it's my only fort, but it wouldn't work that way. Hmm... May as well give them a province where there is quite a bit of autonomy already. So if I do that, they get quite a bit of influence and quite a lot of loyalty. You know, I'm willing to go down that path. So there we go, nice little boost from the emirs. And I could, if I was that way inclined, I could raise my levies, but it's a military support I'm really looking at. You know what, I'm willing to do that. Yes, please. Hurts their loyalty towards me quite a lot, so I have to be very careful in case the bad event pops up. Jake, what's it like to be so poor? It's liberating, to be honest. When you got nothing, you got nothing to lose. So, I would love to fabricate claims on hmm, Jared, actually, so that I can be opportunistic about that. The best thing I can really do is get uh, those relations up with Morocco. I really hope I have a uh, diplomatic reputation guy. I do. So that will really help us out. I'll reset those cores, right? Good. Not just good, excellent. But there's very little we can do other than speed 5 at this moment since we have done everything we can do. 
Except maybe set rivals, but I dare not make Clemson a rival since they're allied with Morocco. And uh, Jared is a possibility. But what if Tunis went friendly instead of domineering? Then Tunis would see me as a uh, rival to an ally there. So I don't want to take any risks, even though it's going to hurt my power projection. If I'm going to make rivals, I can do it just before I go to war. And then I'll forget, because that's what I always do. You'd almost think I had this plan through. So I'm not too concerned about getting an advisor to speed this up, because we are already going at 2.4% per year. And, uh, well, I'm not exactly drowning in cash at the moment. Oh ho Mazab asserts traders and merchants from all over the world, and the sound and smell of distressed animals, the voices bargaining, the smell of spices, and all the colours of the garments, fabrics, and carpets sold here can be overwhelming. An area in the centre of the bazaar has been left untouched, intended for a mosque, but as the bazaar has become increasingly busy, that place could be better used for the market stalls. I do like mercantilism. Perhaps more than I like my devotion at the moment, because the clergy are helping me out with that. Yes, please, let's get that mercantilism. Mercantilism is so good. But I've recently come to find that I get too excited about the idea of mercantilism. Oh, piety is amazing, because that'll help us convert this province faster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Quite a lot faster, 3.2 now. All these little numbers. The Ulema political struggle. The time has come for the Ulema to appoint a new leader. The likely candidate is an old cleric with a solid history and a prominent member of the Ulema behind him. He has, however, also acquired many enemies during his life who now hope to see a somewhat younger candidate with less ugly past to be appointed. So, uh, support the old guy so the Ulema gain uh, influence over us. The Ulema have too much influence already, so that is a dangerous thing to do. If it gets to 80, we're talking disaster time. Or, they lose influence, but also gain loyalty. The idea is we're bringing them closer under our wing. Costs money, though. Mmm, I would like a hundred admin from you. Yeah, that actually works out quite nicely, so let's take that. Sure, why not? Get that 100 admin. Now you might think, oh boy, a button I can just click for infinite admin. Well, you can only click that once every 20 years, and doing so gives a hit to loyalty for those uh, years. So you might end up with him being below 30 uh, loyalty, and cursing yourself that you've uh, given yourself a nasty malice for 20 or so years because of that. So yeah, don't let greed come over you like that. So the Ulema now being here, because they aren't so loyal, no longer boost my uh, conversion chance. The conversion chance will go up locally if they have loyalty above that. But thankfully we get the five loyalty from supporting our young candidate. Boom. We keep it going nice and fast. Yeah, but it's admin, Jake. Oh, well, yes, yes it is. Okay, so Tunis now kind of like us, maybe? Let's get ourselves uh, some claims on the go. I need to be ready to be uh, opportunistic, because we're landlocked and uh, the only three nations that border us could kick our ass. I could potentially deal with Jered, and if I had a bit of a leverage I could deal with Tlemcen. Issue with Tlemcen is they have a capital fort, so I would need nine to siege that down. I don't have nine. So an alliance with you is... <laughs> not so good. Not so good at all. Might even want to look further afield, but the fact that we are Ibadi, therefore heretical to these guys, it hurts a fair chunk. I wonder what I could do to get Morocco to like me more. And there's also you. We're actually not that far away from being friends. That's a scary thought. Well, could at least try. Clemson being the weakest of the three here, but if I were to side with one of these, I could take on one of the other. A couple of cores, always nice. And these provinces won't revolt. I've had words with them. 
<clears throat> Do either loyalty or influence naturally tick in either direction? Loyalty will tick down if you don't give uh, a country... Okay, right, I've been made a rival of Jared, so it doesn't really matter if I tell them the feeling is mutual. And it'll be good if I do, because I'm less likely to get caught with my fabrications. Before I do that, though, I just want to double-check your feelings towards the other big players here. There is neutrality and domineering there. Neutrality, neutrality. <laughs> Poor guy, friendly to Tanis. Tanis doesn't see it that way. So yeah, either way. There we go. Less likely to be caught now. I want those claims. Because if Tunis goes in for it, and it looks like Tunis is going in for it, I want to be ready to deny them that. I wonder if they would give me military access. Okay. Hmm. I should probably take it. It's not like I have any uh, relationships at the moment that are chewing up my slots. So, uh, it's also a nice early warning system, so thanks for that. I wish to send one unit over to there, so that I can see if you're mobilizing against them. I also need to keep increasing those relations here. It's scary to think that you could be my potential ally. You're not that far away from it. Unlike Morocco, who really have it in for me. I really hope Morocco go friendly at some point, that would be lovely. <clears throat> Insult and embargo, Jake. You make a good point. Gotta get that power projection right. There we go, I can do it in between uh, the uses of my diplomat here since they're so close by. Why in the world are you considered an interesting nation to me, Austria? You are certainly not. Well, it's because they're the HRE, but I don't need to hear about all of that. I lost my train of thought there. I was probably going to uh, insult you because I like my PP. Improving relations from Mazab. So Mazab is trying to get that Tlemcen uh, buddy system going. Theodora no longer with Trebizond, so chaos going on over there. But that's not neither here nor there for us. get going with that other claim, and then we can uh, send them an embargo. Jake, can you annex and humiliate at once? I believe that was fixed. I believe, you know, never take what I say as gospel. Mm-mm, that plus one PP. Might not sound like much, and it really isn't. Slight boost to prestige. Oh, that's nasty. Oh well. As I always say, just imagine you got a bad event. Which I did. Now, if I were to pull the Ulema away from here, they would be pretty unhappy about it. It would re reduce their loyalty by 60. And if I gave them a province, it would uh, increase it by 20. That's a tricky one. I would love them to get this province so that they would be less uh, up and... They'd be able to help me convert it faster. As it stands, it would take 83 months, which is quite a lot. No, wait, that's a plus one, isn't it? 45. I'll take it. That way I don't have to give uh, this province away to another faction. Not faction, but um, estate. Jake, will you go for religious ideas first? It is a consideration, but economic is as well. The thing about uh, these fellows is they can get, because they're Muslim, they can get quite a lot of conversion strength anyway. That said, I'll probably go religion anyway. It fits the theme, since I am a theocracy. That's the excuse we're using today.